Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today. We're going to be doing a very special review, a card which I don't have but was allowed to use by one of my friends. Shout out to Grigi for letting me use him in his account. We're going to be doing the mid Johan Cruyff. We're going to go through the details of the card, the stats, and the traits, uh, some of the clips of him and our usual summary at the end. But before we get into all that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below who your what your thoughts are on this card, who you'd like me to review next. Without further ado, let's get into the review. Now, this was a card that a couple of you guys have requested. Those comments will pop up on the video somewhere. Um, guys, initial impressions of this card is he is incredible. He is so much fun to use. Um, and honestly, I, I just had a terrific time using him. In terms of getting into his details, of course, Cruyff, five star, five star right there. And we'll zoom that in a bit so you guys can see. Five star, five star on his weak foot and skill moves so already we've got a fantastic card starting up here um from the netherlands so some good linkability to some nice players there memphis Depay, donio Malin, of course the iron robin uh, sean cliver all those kind of players as well so you've got some nice links there of course that daily sink grabbing as well the other league player that's just come out recently um in terms of his key stats here as well uh, 93 acceleration super fast but the key thing about this card guys and the absolutely brilliant thing about this card is his dribbling um it is so tight you're going to see that from some of the clips that we get uh that he was just phenomenal dribbler you're able to move so quickly turn on a dime with him um just create so many great chances with this card um guys a con of this card and i will say it because it depends on where you play him um generally i would recommend you play cruyff at the 10. However, if you are going to play him out wide, then his stamina is a bit of an issue. Um, 81 stamina isn't enough for me for a wide player to be able to get back and uh, forward up and down that line. Luckily for you as well though, Cruyff has a low defensive work rate and a high attacking work rate. I definitely would recommend playing him in the number 10 or the striker role. He does perfectly well at striker as well. Definitely wouldn't recommend playing him out wide or deeper in a midfield, either in a central midfield position. I do not recommend you do that at all. Keep this guy as forward as you can um, when putting him in a team. Um, overall as well, guys, other strengths of this card. His finishing, of course, is fantastic. 91 finishing, 90 long shots. Shot power isn't that high, but the positioning of this player's shots and how accurate he is when he shoots is phenomenal. Like, it's really good um, to use this card for that as well. So overall, I found him really, really fun. In terms of chemistry styles, guys, um, we could look at different ones here. Of course, you can see here, 91 pace, 93 dribbling, 89 shooting, 88 passing, 72 physical. So, again, I would maybe be looking to put a hunter on him to boost that sh uh, pace and shooting there, 99 pace, 99 shooting. So now you've got 99 on that and 94 shooting. That does become absolutely lethal. Um, or you could look to put a catalyst on him if you're playing him at the number 10 slot. That puts his passing into the 90s again. Really, really nice there as well. You could also look at putting a dead eye on him, uh, which would boost his shooting and passing or a marksman. If you really do want to boost that dribbling, however, I don't really feel like the dribbling needs that much added to it. If you add stuff to that, you won't really gain much benefit out of that. Um, so I would recommend the dead eye or the hunter or catalyst for this card, guys. Um, finally, we'll just go through the price as well, because of course he is a costly card. 3.4 million on the PlayStation, 2.9 on the Xbox, 4.8 on the PC. Guys, I couldn't afford this card even if I wanted to. So thankfully, my friend came through and allowed me to try him in some co-op games. You guys will see some of his gameplay as well, and he is miles better than I am at using cards like this. So you'll get to see what this card is actually capable of in the hands of a capable FIFA player. Um, and without further ado, let's get straight into some of the clips. So guys, getting into some of Johan Cruyff's clips here, and you're going to see, look at that, guys. I mean, straight away, you can just see what this card is good at. It's just the dribbling. Again, now I have control of him here. Again, position him there. It's an easy finish, but he does get a goal from it as well. Really tidy finish there as well. Again, here we get a little bit lucky, but how is that for a turn against one? Again, we lose the ball here. He wins it back again. Hold off the defender. Reasonable amount of strength in between those two defenders and smashes it in the back of the net. Their lovely finish again from Johan Cruyff. Once you get into the positions in the box, it really is easy to get chances in on goal. Apologies for that emote there, guys. Um, again here, picking up the ball, unlucky with the shot. Look at that turn. Sent both of the defenders the wrong way. And again, lovely finish there as well. Again here, look at the dribbling from Cruyff here. Just able to take it around every single player there. Turn out of gaps, turn quickly with them as well. Again, lovely ball into the box. How's that for? Or a finish what a goal that is um, again here you can see playing in the middle lovely ball through to robin and again once we fill the gap with him and create opportunities with him it's easy to get goals with him as well 
Again here, lovely little turn there. Lovely little driving run there as well. And because of his speed and ability to turn so quickly, guys, that's what makes his card so lethal. Unfortunately, couldn't get that finesse shot on target there as well. Here again, picking the ball up in the box. Lovely stop and go on a dime. Again, beating two or three defenders in one motion and unlucky with the finish there as well. Again here, you're not afraid to just run at people with this card, guys. And that really is one of the beautiful things about this card is that you can just drive at people and it's so, so simple to get past them. Again, you see me doing a flip-flap there and getting a goal off that too. Something you won't normally see out of me. A lovely ball again by Cruyff. Unlucky there with the finish as well. And in this final couple of clips here, guys, how about that for a weak foot volley? Five-star weak foot is something that's just so good about this card. And again here, last clip here, guys, he takes the ball, little chip over the defender, lovely finish there. So guys, back to footman we go. And unfortunately, because I don't have this card, guys, uh, I can't show you exactly all the stuff that I would like to about him. But if we go down here, we can see some of the other things as well that are important. He's got a lean body type as well, which is something that's really important for a card like this. Um, what you guys have to remember is that this card is very, very lean, slight player. So therefore, he's able to move quickly with the ball, dribble quickly. And that balance doesn't really throw him off too much, which is something that I forgot to mention earlier. The balance usually is something that is really important, especially with a dribbler card. But because Cruyff is a lean body type, his agility is so high and the rest of his dribbling stats are so good, um, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, in terms of traits as well, just while we're going through this, you've got technical dribbler, chip shot, outside the foot shot, uh, playmaker, flair, and leadership. Now, I wish he had the finesse shot trait, but he does have some reasonable shooting traits to allow him to be able to get in and around uh, the, the spaces that he needs to, to put off good efforts and get good goals as well. Um, guys, <laughs> would I recommend buying this card? If you have three and a half million, he's for the PlayStation or three million on the Xbox. He's a fantastic card. Um, but just bear in mind that I think the baby version is just as good as this card and you can pick that up for 3 million or 2.5 on the Xbox. The Prime version is of course insane as well. Um, this version is excellent guys, don't get me wrong, I would love to have this card if I could afford it. However, I would say that you can get better value for money elsewhere. Um, you could pick up a couple of nice players instead of picking up this Cruyff, uh, or some really nice players instead of picking up this Cruyff. However, if you do grab this card, you will never be disappointed with it. It's one of the best cards I've used this year. Um, given all the factors, I've used a lot of icons this year, um, and this guy is by far the best one I've used so far. If I could use his Prime at some point, that would be insane. Finally, guys, I did get a request for what I thought the best chemistry style was for him, and I know I suggested a few earlier, and his position as well. I would recommend you guys that you put a Catalyst on him or a Marksman. You know what, actually, I'm going to suggest that you put a Catalyst on him to boost that pace, boost that passing and play him at the number 10 slot. You will not be disappointed there. He will get a lot of goals for you, a lot of assists, and he'll be the best player in your team by far. So that would be my recommendation for this card, guys. Get that catalyst on him. Get him playing in that number 10 slot where he's the highest rated, 93 rated there. Uh, aside from that, of course, them winger positions as well. Uh, and you won't regret using this card there at all. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. And if you did, please do smash that like button. And until next time, I'll see you all in a bit.